Your grandfather is a selfish old prick who resents taking care of his family. And yet, you all end up back here at my house. Welcome. Your only uncle. So I'm also your favorite uncle. Right? Sounds like something. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea how, but you are going to law school. So you can sue your father for child support. No, so he can help with your fines about the septic tank. No, here we go. Come on, Mary. Hey, whose kid is that? My sister. Which sister? A hot one or a crazy one? What, you wanna die? <laughs> okay, two rules. I'm never gonna let you in. And I'm gonna always tell you the truth. Your father is a deadbeat. I'll take care of you. Teach you the male sciences. I saw you in the yard playing sports. You're not very good. Now find some other activities. I like to read. You read enough of those? Maybe. You could become a writer. One more thing, very important. Never hit a woman. Even if she stabs you with scissors. Got it. See you, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Got an announcement. Today, my nephew is officially a man. <laughs> it is a great pleasure to offer you a place in the Yale class of 1986. Hey, I'm JR. Sydney, you're in my class. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on my way. So what do you want to be, JR? I'm going to be a writer. Well, what's your main theme? The absent father. Poor boy who wants a rich girl. She doesn't love you. What you do next is going to be important. Would you go and stare up at the building in the rain? Baby! No. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going, and I'm on my way. What are you gonna do without the bad guy in your life? In life, you gotta have it. If you don't have it, you never get it. And I say you got it.